equipment that we have in our lab, what it allows us to do really is to safely mimic kind of real world trips and slips that you'd see, for example, slipping on ice. You're walking at a certain period of time, you take a step and instead of your foot stabilizing your body, it comes out from underneath you causing you to slip. So what we can do with the equipment we have here is to very safely kind of expose people to those types of situations with the hope that they get better so then when they leave our lab and they go out into the real world and they experience a real slip on ice that they don't actually fall and hurt themselves. When someone, for example, trips, you're falling forward, a couple things that are really important for you not to actually contact the ground would be uh, your initial step. So that first step you take, um, how far that step is and how fast you actually take that step are very, very important uh, factors in your ability to recover from the fall and not actually hit the ground. So what we can do with all the motion capture technology is very, very accurately measure the length of that step as well as how fast that step is. Another uh, thing that we're interested in is the trunk, so what your upper body is doing. So the farther you lean forward, the more you're kind of off balance, the more likely you are to fall. So the more you can kind of stay upright, the, the more likely you are to successfully recover from that trip or slip. So that's what we can measure very, very accurately with the technology we have.